Hello grade 3, I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Uh, this is the last video that you guys will be receiving today. And it's going to be a broad overview focusing on key parts of grammar. Um, we're going to look at nouns and look at a few examples, verbs and a few examples, as well as um, pronouns. And we're also going to do adjectives. Let's get straight into it, guys. Great, guys. We're quickly going to go through it. the part of speech, the noun. This is just going to be a quick revision. You guys should have watched the previous video that was on it, and it would have gone into a bit more detail. But most sentences in English contain at least one noun or a pronoun. So a noun is basically anything, right? Yes, I know that's not the best and most helpful definition. But so a noun is basically anything at all. Now, the way this is taught in traditional grammar is to say that a noun is a person, place, or thing, which is fine. But as you guys should remember, we got a little bit deeper and made that definition a little bit sharper by saying nouns are people, places, things, and ideas. Now, ideas is usually kept out, but people, things, places, and ideas. And guys, let's quickly put that into practice. Let's identify the noun in each sentence. Now, the first sentence, Justin carved a chair. So I'll give you some time to think about it yourself. Okay, the first noun is Justin. That is a person. The second noun is chair. That is a thing. The second sentence, Jennifer took a cookie. Jennifer is the first noun. Cookie is the second. Howard eats a sandwich. So Howard is a person, it is a noun, and a sandwich is also a noun. Jack, person, noun, and computer. Jack built a computer. Great guys, you should have got that all right. Um, let's move on. Great guys, so now we move on to verbs. Another part of speech. Now the best way to start is what is a verb? What is a verb? Now like I said before, a verb is a part of speech that has a bunch of different functions, but the most important function is that it can, ex can ex express or show action. Verbs can express or show action. And don't forget, I told you guys last time, all sentences contain a verb. Now let's look at some examples. Please try to do them just before I answer. Let's do it together. Okay, so circle the verbs. The pandas nibbled bamboo. So the verb nibbled. We went to the beach. Now the verb in this sentence is went. We pulled the kittens out the mud. The verb in this sentence is pulled. Jake lifted the rock. Lifted is the verb in this sentence. Great guys, so we've done nouns and we've done verbs. Let's move on to pronouns. Great guys, the next is pronouns. So we can begin with the question, what are pronouns? So what are pronouns? So we use pronouns to replace the unnecessary noun. This means we don't have to repeat the same ones, someone's name, for instance, or a thing a thousand times. We must first make certain the reader or listener knows who or what we are talking about, however. So pronouns, what are pronouns? They are words that stand in for other words. So let's look at some examples of pronouns. These are just a small few. There are many, many 
different other ones he she it and her let's go through some examples in sentences okay john is doing his homework let's circle the pronoun his she is my sister now there are actually two pronouns in the sentence she is my sister and the last one they are playing football now the pronoun in here is they fantastic guys that's the end of the revision now we're going to move on to adjectives great stuff guys so the next word is adjectives so this word called adjectives and what they do is change stuff adjectives change stuff they belong to a larger category of words we call modifiers because that's what they do they modify so to help explain i'm going to bring in a friend meet mr bear now i could refer to the bear and i could say the bear But I could also refer to this bear with the description like the friendly bear, the friendly bear. And if the bear was, you know, let's say the bear was, I'm not going to color the whole bear in now, but if the bear was blue, for example, blue bear, we could say the blue bear. So in the blue bear, in this sentence here, the word blue modifies bear. Blue is an adjective that describes bear. So adjectives describe change stuff and they describe stuff. So they change stuff and they describe stuff. So in this sentence here, the friendly bear the word friendly is an adjective. It is modifying on to bear. So let's put this into action with some sentences. First one is Stephen is Jack's best friend. So in this sentence here, which word is modifying another word? If you guessed best, you are correct. The word best is modifying friend. Stephen is Jack's best friend. The big pie is not for sale. Which word in this sentence is modifying another word? If you guessed big, you are also correct. The word big is modifying pie. So an adjective is something that's kind of thrown on top of something because you don't necessarily need an adjective in order for a sentence to make sense. The way that you need to have a verb or the way that you need to have a noun. Adjectives are a little bit extra. They make sentences a bit more interesting. They describe things a little bit better. For example, I mean, if you look at this sentence here, if you take out the adjective, and you can still the sentence still makes sense Stephen is Jack's friend so Stephen is Jack's friend still makes sense you take this sentence here you take out the adjective the pie is not for sale so the sentence still makes sense so without the adjective they would still make sense the adjectives just add a little extra to the sentence they describe they modify words. Great guys, let's move on. Great stuff guys, that's the end of the video. Now I just want to quickly go through the homework, what you guys need to do. This is what it looks like. So it's four pages long. Page number one is on key vocabulary. You guys have done this before. You look the word bank on the right. You look for these words. In the word search like always whenever you find them put a circle around it or underline it however you want to do it then we go to page number two which is about the anchor text now it's got a whole bunch of questions which follows on to page number three 
Just read carefully, answer as much as you guys can. All the answers are in the text. And lastly is number four, which is grammar. Directions, write the adjectives in alphabetical order. Check out the meaning of any new words. Now, alphabetical order, guys, if you remember, is, for example, A, B, C, D, E, F. So look for the word beginning with A, put it on number one, then B. There's two of the same letter, you look for the second. So for instance, massive and muggy. Massive would come first because A comes before U. Great, guys. That brings this video to an end. Like always, please let me know if you guys are struggling with anything. Thank you for your patience with the videos. And I'll speak to you guys tomorrow. Have a good night.